guys the main man Sui here and yes I'm not dead or deceased I'm just in Thailand on a two-week vacation that's unfortunately over in a couple of days Tekken 7 is awesome you know I do want to play it more but vacation is pretty sweet as well I'm gonna try and capture this although I can't really see what the camera is capturing right now uh, but uh, it's just awesome. I'm at uh, Koh Samui, which is an island that's very close to, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> very close to, it's actually part of Thailand. Um, and over there, you can see another island that's uh, Koh Panyang. Uh, yeah, Ko Koh Panyang. I, I mean, yeah, however you pronounce that. Uh, it's a smaller island, but also super awesome, supposed to have awesome snorkeling. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to I wanna touch upon those guides, you know, those newcomer character guides. Uh, so many people are asking me like non-stop, where the fuck are they? And I can understand that. I mean, the, uh, the goal was to have them available at launch, uh, but that did not happen. Of course, Bandai Namco had millions of things to do. And then they had E3, you know, and they have to post videos about that and do all of the marketing for that. So that's a lot of stuff. Um, but uh, these guides are going to be released. They have already uploaded them to YouTube, but they are unlisted. You can't see them yet. Uh, so they, it, it's just a, literally at any time they could pop up. And I just want to reiterate again that they are for beginners. They are not for people who have played Tekken already for perhaps a year or a couple of months. Uh, it's, it's just like a brief introduction to the characters in the game. Like if you're interested in Kazumi, for example, it's going to give you a basic sense of what Kazumi is about in two or three minutes. And the same for every other character. Like what is their gimmick? What is their basic game plan? So I know I'm still going to get like uh, a lot of people saying like, oh my God, this is not a proper complete character guide where the fuck are the frames where where where's the breakdown of the entire move list and that is that was never the purpose of the guides me and Bandai Namco were very early on on the very same page I told them I would like to do uh, very very brief guides that are very very easy to understand you know and they told me like well you know we're thinking the exact same thing if you think of the average Tekken player, we want his grandma to be able to sit with him, watch the guide and follow along. Grandma even understands. Oh, so that's what that character does. Uh, so it's on that level. Uh, and I think uh, that was achieved. Uh, but I do, do hope you guys like those guides. And as I've said, you know, uh, please share them with your friends who are new to the game. And People, people you might know who, who, who want to try out Tekken. Uh, and of course, as soon as I get back, I'll make more guides. I'm gonna make probably Kazuya, Devil Jin, Heihachi, uh, Jin Kazuma, probably some other character guides as well. And I'm, uh, I know that my EVGF tutorial is not available on cell phones or smartphones. Uh, so I'll probably make a new electric guide as well. Uh, in detail, like multiple electrics and stuff like that. And I'll probably make a wave dash tutorial and some like more advanced Mishima tutorials in general, like uh, mix-ups, you know, what is the 50-50, what, what does punishment entail, like what does it mean to play a Mishima. Um, they are very unique, you know. And so I guess that's what I wanted to say in this video. But other than that, I really hope you're all doing well, having lots of fun with Tekken 7. I do hope that patch, that, patch, that network patch for PS4 was released after I left. So hopefully network works really well now and there are no more people who can't play the game. Because even a, a few days after I left, I still got people on Twitter and YouTube saying, I still can't play online and that's a disaster. So I really hope that has been taken care of, but that patch seem, seems to have worked. I mean, I haven't gotten any of those messages anymore. So yeah, I hope you're all up and running um, and having a blast with Tekken 7. I mean, it's a great game and holy shit, it seems to be doing really well. 
and my god the community seems to be making like one million guides and that's really good i mean i i just go into youtube and in my channel feed like stuff you're you're, you're probably going to want to watch and i see like oh my god i check every other day and it's like one million videos i think there are already like 55 guides on how to play Asuka, how to do her uh, uh, front crouch, down forward two, into forward two. And it's really good. I mean, it's re really nice to see that we have such a strong community and that Tekken 7 actually seems to be performing above the ex everyone's expectations. I mean, above mine, surely. And I, I was hoping the game would do well. And I kind of knew it would do rather well, considering the amazing visuals, the supers, the slow-mo, you know, at the end of the round, on the final hit. Uh, stuff like that does so much, and it all seems to have paid off for Bandai Namco. Uh, and they've been so good at the marketing for the game, you know. How do you promote a game? How do you keep a game hyped for four years? Well, okay, it was three years. That's really hard, but they managed to do that, so cred to them but yeah I'm, I'm just fucking rambling at this point so once again i'm just going to show this is it actually showing something oh it is and here's me hello <laughs> retarded you guys knew that already wish you were all here no i'm lying go fuck yourself go fuck yourself go fuck. yeah i'm not gonna do that anymore i'm gonna be nice now but uh, yeah, I do hope you're all doing well and I will see you in a couple of days when I'm home again and I'll probably stream. Uh, probably, yeah, I'll, I'll stream. So take care, guys.